Hello dear friends, today we are again on the topic of Uruguay, but this time I have 9 very interesting facts for you. Let's start without wasting time, and the first video examining Uruguay in more detail can be found in the description. The name Uruguay comes from the Guarani language, which was spoken by the indigenous people of the region before the arrival of Europeans. The word Uruguay can be translated as river of the painted birds, although there is some debate over the exact meaning of the word. The Guarani people were known for their vibrant artwork and often painted the birds in the region with bright colors. The river part of the name refers to the Uruguay River, which forms the border between Uruguay and Argentina. The Hymno Nacional of Uruguay is not only the country's official national anthem, but it also holds the distinction of being the world's longest national anthem. With a total of 105 bars or measures, the anthem has a runtime of approximately 5 minutes. The anthem's length is due to the fact that it features an extended introduction, which includes a slow, mournful melody played by the orchestra, followed by a dramatic fanfare. The anthem's lyrics, which were written by Francisco Acuna de Figueroa, were set to music by Francisco José de Bali. The flag of Uruguay has a rich and interesting history that dates back to the early 19th century. The flag features nine blue and white stripes, alternating in color, with a white square in the upper left corner that contains a golden sun with a human face. The design of the flag is said to have been inspired by the Argentine flag, which was created by General Manuel Belgrano during the Argentine War of Independence. The colors blue and white are said to represent the sky and clouds, while the golden sun symbolizes the Sun of May, a reference to the May Revolution of 1810, which marked the beginning of the Argentine War of Independence. After gained independence on 1825, Uruguay adopted the flag with the blue and white stripes, which had already been in use by the revolutionary forces during the struggle for independence. The design of the golden sun was added later in 1830, when the country adopted its first constitution as an independent nation. Uruguay's national dish is chivito and is a must-try for visitors to the country. The dish consists of a thin slice of beef, usually steak, topped with ham, cheese, lettuce, tomato and mayo, all served on a bun. The ingredients may vary slightly depending on the restaurant or individual preference, but the classic chivito is a hearty and tasty dish. The origin of the chivito is a point of pride for Uruguayans, with various stories claiming to have created the dish. In addition to its delicious taste, Chivito is also a filling and satisfying meal, perfect for refueling after a long day of exploring the country. Whether enjoyed at a local diner or a fine dining restaurant, Chivito is a must-try for anyone visiting Uruguay. The national drink of Uruguay is called mate, which is a traditional infusion made from the leaves of the yerba mate plant. Mate is a popular beverage throughout South America, and Uruguay is no exception. To prepare mate, the dried leaves of the yerba mate plant are placed in a hollowed-out gourd called a mate and steeped in hot water. The drink is typically consumed through a metal straw called a bombilla, which filters out the leaves and allows the liquid to be sipped directly from the gourd. Mate is not only a popular drink in Uruguay, but it is also a symbol of socialization and community. Sharing mate is a common practice among friends and family, and it is often seen as a way to bring people together. Overall, mate is an important part of Uruguayan culture and is a drink that is enjoyed by people of all ages and backgrounds. Uruguay is one of the first countries to create a social security system. The system was established in 1919, making it one of the oldest social security systems in the world. With its progressive social policies aimed at improving the quality of life of its citizens and promoting equality in society, this small country stands out from all other countries on the continent and is a true role model. The healthcare system here is public and provides free medical services to all citizens of the country. Educational policies focus on improving the quality of education and ensuring accessibility for all students. Social security is another important element of Uruguay's social policy, providing support to retired workers, the disabled, and other vulnerable populations. The country has also implemented a comprehensive system of public housing, providing affordable and safe housing for low-income families. In addition, as we mentioned in our first clip about the country, the country has given fair rights to people from the LGBT community, which is the biggest proof that Uruguayans value equality between people and strive to provide a dignified personal and social life for its residents. Like all other nations in South America, Uruguayans also have a great passion for football. 
They are the first world champions in the history of the game, winning the title at the first FIFA World Cup they hosted in 1930, and in 1950 they repeated their feat at the World Cup in Brazil. The country has produced many great players over the years, such as Diego Forlan, Luis Suarez, and Edinson Cavani and many many others, who have achieved great success on the world stage. Uruguay is a country that is renowned for its love of beef. In fact, it is the largest consumer of beef in the world, with an annual per capita consumption of over 100 kilograms. The love for beef in Uruguay dates back to the early colonial period when cattle were brought over by the Spanish. Today, beef is an integral part of Uruguayan cuisine and culture. It is not uncommon to see people gathered around a traditional outdoor grill, known as an asado, where beef is cooked over an open flame. According to 2021 statistics, there are about 3.46 million cows in Uruguay, while the population is about 3.47 million people. This means that there is approximately one cow for every one inhabitant of the country. There are disputes whether tango originated in Argentina or Uruguay, but the facts indicate that it is Uruguay that is the birthplace of this popular dance. At the beginning of the 20th century, tango began to develop in the small dance halls of Buenos Aires and Montevideo, attracting the attention of local residents. Tango quickly became popular throughout Latin America and later in Europe and other parts of the world. In Uruguay, tango continues to be very popular, with many dance schools and clubs established. This was our second video about Uruguay, expect a lot more content like this to help you break away from everyday life and explore new cultures and nations, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and like, to help grow our channel.